These shoes right here, these are not made for walking. Hey y'all, welcome in, so welcome back to my channel. My name is Shamika. If you are new here and if you're joining us for the first time, make sure you click that subscribe button, make sure you click the bell so you can be notified every time I post and make sure you leave a comment down below. So for today's video, we're about to get into a collective haul and collective hauls are one of my favorite video styles. I absolutely love showing y'all all the little pieces that I be purchasing because y'all know I'm really getting into my fashion bag this year. And so next year, I'm really excited to just take it up a notch. So I got a lot of stuff on sale for Black Friday. I think I pretty much got almost all of this stuff on sale for Black Friday, but some of the stuff I purchased a couple months back. So let's just get right into everything that I purchased. I don't know how I want to do this. I'm torn between, we're going to do it about categories, right? We're going to do it about clothes. Well, I don't know. Should we do it about categories? Because most of it's clothes, but I did not have shoes too. Should we do it about brands? Let's do it about brands. So we're going to do it about brands, but we're going to start with the shoes. So first off, I want to start off with some heels that I recently purchased from Nine West. I absolutely love Nine West heels. They are very comfortable. The quality is amazing. I don't know why I grabbed the box to show y'all because they're not in the box. I actually wore them last night. So this is what they look like. This is just a pair of silver metallic pumps. And I absolutely love them. I have been looking for a pair of pumps like this around the time of my birthday, but I could not find a pair that was cute and affordable. So when I saw these on sale for Black Friday, 50% off, I had to grab them. They were only about $50, I believe. The regular price is like 100, so had to get them. I wore them last night and I'm not gonna lie, they are a little painful. This is like my fourth pair of heels from Nine West and I did get them in my true size, which is a seven and a half, but I feel like I probably should have went up to an eight because Baby, these shoes right here, these are not made for walking. These shoes are so freaking painful. And I have three other pair of heels from Nine West and they don't even compare to how these feel. I will say though that these are a pump and the other heels that I have from Nine West, they aren't pumps, they're more of a sandal heel. So my toes are out and then the back of my foot is out. So I don't know, maybe when it comes to their pumps, I need to level up and go up and get a bigger size, but they are very painful, but they're gorgeous. They're beautiful. I wore them last night, and I absolutely do love them. I definitely feel like every girl needs a pair of silver metallic pumps in her wardrobe. I feel like Beyonce really put the color silver and metallic and all that on the map, and so definitely needed to get me some to complete my wardrobe. So the next pair of shoes that I got are from Jessica Rich. Now, if you don't know, Jessica Rich is a black-owned shoe brand, and I've been wanting to try her shoes for ages like I have been dying to get my hands on a pair of shoes by Jessica Rich and for Black Friday baby it was the perfect time so first of all let's get into this box I absolutely love the attention to detail I love the marble I love how that it has a metallic clothes it's just such a beautiful sophisticated box I love that every pair of shoes comes with a dust bag so we love that as well and this particular heel that I have also came with some heel replacements which are definitely going to come in handy because I am so rough on my heels. So this first heel that I got are these silver heels. Very similar to the ones from Nine West aside from the fact that they have the clear front and then they lace up the leg. Now I'm not going to be showing y'all these shoes on my feet, any of the shoes, because y'all know my feet are under construction right now. My toes are under construction, so I'm not even going to put myself out there like that and embarrass myself. But I absolutely love these. The heel is very high and sleek and sexy, and it just gives womanly and sophisticated. Love them. It has the metallic heel back here. What I will say, though, is that Jessica Rich's heels do not come in half sizes. My shoe size is a seven and a half or 37 and a half. So I did decide to size up. I got these in a 38 and I still personally feel like they are just a bit too small for my liking. Like my feet are hanging off the back just a smidge. Like if I ever order from her again, I'm definitely going to have to get a 39. But, you know, I am going to wear them. I do like them and I'm excited to, you know, bust them out. But I will just say if you ever do purchase from Jessica Rich, definitely go up a whole size. So if you're a 37 and a half, just go up to a 39 just to make sure that they're going to fit you comfortably. They aren't that painful, but I didn't wear them out. I just wore them around the house. So 
we'll have to really see what they feel like when I actually do wear them outside. But just from looking at them, they're beautiful. I love them and I definitely think they're worth the money. And so I also got another pair of heels from Jessica Rich because I'm trying to complete, not complete my heel collection because as a woman, like, is your heel collection ever complete? Like, I don't think as a woman you've ever completed your heel collection, but I'm trying to, like, build my heel collection, I guess you could say. And, and I want to build my collection full of quality heels. I don't want to buy any more cheap, fast fashion heels because I feel like they're a waste of money and they're extremely painful. So, I need some quality heels in my life. So, I got two pair. This pair also came with a dust bag. This pair did not come with a heel replacement. I wonder why. I really don't know. But, nonetheless... These are so beautiful, so sexy. They're just stunning if you ask me. I think they are like the perfect heel ratio. The heel height is everything. I love the gold sole. I love the gold heel back here in the back. I love how pointed the front is. They're just so sexy and sophisticated. Like definitely gives like a sexy classy woman so i absolutely love these i did get these in a 38 as well and i'm having the same issue that i had with the silver ones where they're kind of a little too small like not nothing that's like to the point where i need to return it but i definitely moving forward would have to order a size up. the last pair of shoes that i got are my inc booties i have spoken about these on my channel recently and i've actually worn these twice i got these from macy's i got them in a size seven and a half really wish i would have went up to a size eight because they are a bit snug these are not the most comfortable heels but they get the job done. These are supposed to be like a dupe for the Givenchy Shark boots. And I absolutely love these. I didn't have any boots in this style, especially in the color black. So I was super excited to get them. I love the heel. Very sexy and sophisticated. I feel like the fold over boot style is very trendy and very popular this year. Not only are they simple, they're very sophisticated. You can dress them up, you can dress them down, and I think they just help complement each and every look. So I would definitely suggest getting your hands on a pair of these. I will link these down below and maybe a, another couple pair of dupes because I believe Steve, and Matt, Steve Madden has some as well. Because these only go up to a size seven and a half, I believe is the biggest size, or like an eight. It doesn't really go up that far and I'm sure some of you probably have larger feet than that because even I could have stood to go up a size so I'll definitely probably try to link a dupe pair for these in the description box as well okay on to the clothes I think for the clothes we're going to go back brand and so we're going to start off with Zara and so for Zara the first thing that I have on is this super cute halter top that I got recently I absolutely love this I actually wore this yesterday for day night and I wanted to film this video yesterday but I didn't have no time so yeah we put it back on for the video but I absolutely love this I want to set up and show you guys what it looks like it's super cute it fits me really really well I got it in a size medium and I paired it with some cargo pants from Fashion Nova and I think it just really set everything off I love the pocket detailing on this top I think it just adds that extra oomph like it, it takes the classy look of it to like a streetwear look of it so you can kind of dress it up and just it down if you will and one of the pockets are no both of the pockets are real pockets so I really do like that if you are getting this and you are a pretty busty girl I will suggest going up a size I went and tried on the small but baby it wasn't given what it was supposed to so I end up getting the medium and I really do like this it's a very cute top and I think the halter top and like the sleeveless top trend is kind of in right now so definitely get your hands on this if you can and then I went to Zara yesterday as well and I got me some sweatpants nothing major here I just needed me some sweatpants because I absolutely do not have one pair of sweatpants in my closet so I saw these they're heather gray you can't go wrong with a heather gray sweatpants they have pockets which is essential for me I would never buy sweatpants without pockets like what's the point you know I got them in a size small and then they're wide leg which I love they're very comfortable they're very long I prefer my sweatpants to be wide leg I don't like the skinny leg sweatpants I don't know it's just I just I don't know I just like mine like this so I was super happy when I saw these in Zara and I went ahead and grabbed them very comfortable and I'm definitely going to be getting my money's worth out of these. I don't plan to dry them though because I feel like they might shrink if I dry them and I don't want them to shrink. I don't want to be blood, you know what I'm saying? I just 
want them to cover my shoes and be real cute. So, yeah, they super thick. Maybe don't, these probably wouldn't be good for the summertime, but for the winter, they perfect. Okay, now that we're done with Zara, let's do Fashion Nova. Because y'all know I've been shopping at Fashion Nova lately. I've been into the fast fashion. And I'm liking what I'm seeing. I'm liking what it's giving. So, let's get into it. The first thing that I got from Fashion Nova, I actually showed you guys this in one of my recent vlogs. Is these straight leg jeans. I have a thing for straight leg jeans lately, y'all. I don't know what it is. It's just something about it when they go over your heels. They just look so good and so classy. I don't know. It's just something about it. When you have a straight leg jean over a pointed toe heel, baby, it eats. So I've been really wanting to build up my straight leg jeans collection. These have a frayed hem at the bottom, which I think is super cute as well. I like that it's cut and it's just got the little strings. Super, super cute. And so I also got another pair of straight leg jeans from Fashion Nova in a size 5. I don't know the name of this style because I have worn these a few times now, but I really do like these. I like these a little bit more for wearing casually and wearing to work and stuff like that because these do stretch and they are much more comfortable than the other pair. So I've worn these to work. I've worn these on things given like I think these are the perfect pair of jeans to just lounge around in you know the other pair is more like I'm gonna dress these up and go outside in but this pair is like I just want to be comfortable but I want some cute jeans on really like these the next thing that I got from Fashion Nova is a piece that I got around a time where I ordered like my birthday outfit and stuff I ordered this jumpsuit because I think they had like a buy one get one free sale and so I just picked out this super cute bandage jumpsuit now from the reviews everybody says to go up a size and so I did I got it in a medium because you know my man I feel like I'm still a small but I probably should have got a large because this is extremely tight on me like it's so tight I can't even zip this up by myself hence the reason why I haven't worn it yet but I think it's a very very pretty jumpsuit it definitely cinches in the waist because it has this leather band and it does not stretch so it really sucks you in but if you're between sizes, I would highly suggest just going up a size because this isn't one of those type of pieces that's going to give you any leeway when it comes to the stretch. So, I like it. I think it's really cute, though. I just haven't had the chance to wear it. Hopefully, I can get any. I'm a little smaller these days. I'm on the smaller side. I've lost about two pounds. So, hopefully, I can get in it before I start to pick my weight back up. If not, I'll probably just have it on my Poshmark, which will be listed down below in the description box. I sell all of my clothes on my Poshmark. Anything that I can no longer fit or I'm no longer interested in wearing, I always post it on my Poshmark and I sell it for a really good price. So make sure you check that link out down below in the description box. This may or may not be on there depending on how fast I pick up my weight. Brand new, tag still on it just probably won't get the chance to fit into it. The next thing that I got from Fashion Nova is just this cardigan. It's a waffle knit cardigan. I wore this on Thanksgiving. Nothing spectacular about it. What I will say though is that I thought it was much longer when I bought it. I thought it was going to give more like a duster look. You know what I'm saying? Something that was long and really coming down at least to my knees or something like that but it didn't really do that for me but it's cool though it's it's warm i got it in a size medium so it can have more of an oversized look it's warm it's cozy it's thick i like it it gets the job done then the next thing that i got is this super cute bolero from fashion nova now i just got this because i needed one really really bad like i had needed a bolero i think that's how you say it somebody comments and then told me it's like bolero Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know. But I got this because I really wanted one and needed one. And I feel like it's cute. Like, it got the job done. But I really want another one with feathers. You know, this one doesn't really have the feathers. And it's not really giving 100% what I wanted. But if you need something quick and cute and simple that's going to get the job done, this is definitely it. Um, I would say if you are in between sizes, maybe size down because this is extremely stretchy. And so you're going to get a lot of room in the arm area with it. I have pretty big arms, so it works out perfectly for me. I didn't need to go up or down a size. But yeah, I really do like this. It's cute. It does, it does what it needs to do. It gets the job done. 
And the last thing that I have for Fashion Nova are these black cargo pants. I have these same pants in a tan color and I absolutely love Fashion Nova's cargo pants. These are the pants that I actually wore last night with this top. Super cute. I felt very cute and pretty. I wore them with some pointed toe heels and yeah, I absolutely love these pants from Fashion Nova. You can't go wrong with them. They're stretchy. They have all the pockets. They have everything you need. They fit on you comfortably. You absolutely cannot go wrong with these. And they're a very affordable price. So if you're in the market for some cargo jeans, before you go on those Instagram boutiques and stuff like that trying to get some, go look on Fashion Nova because most of the girls buy the stuff from Fashion Nova's wholesaler and then they end up reselling it for three times the price. And we ain't doing that. So, yeah. So the next brand that we're going to get into is Skims because I did get a couple of things from Skims for Black Friday. Nothing major, but let's get into it. The first thing that I got is another, I believe this is the For Everybody set. Yes, I got this one in the color Bone. So I have one. I don't know what the other color is that I have, but they have this one in Bone on sale for the Black Friday sale. So I got the bottom and then I also got the top. It could kind of look green depending on the lighting like I have my Christmas tree right here lit so it's kind of giving off like a green color but I kind of see on camera it's giving a bone white color I don't really get them for the colors I get them for the comfortabilities and then I also got this corset now baby I was so happy when I saw on schemes that they had this corset on sale for Black Friday because I have been looking at getting this corset I just didn't want to pay for a price. So when I saw that they had it on sale for Black Friday, I was so happy. But then I saw that they didn't have a small. They only had medium and up. And I'm just like, shoot. Like, I was leaning towards getting a small. But I told myself, I'm like, Shmika, you kind of you kind of busty. Like, you got some C's on you. You know what I'm saying? So you probably can get into a medium. When I tell you I'm so happy I got the medium, the medium fits me perfectly. Like, it's not too tight. The girls are not spilling over on the sides because that's the problem that I have a lot with certain tops. Like, it'll fit in my stomach and in my waist area, but when it comes to my boobs, I'll have a lot of that side spillage. I do not have that with this corset, and I still feel comfortable and sucked in and tight and right. You know what I'm saying? Now moving on to the last and final clothing brand, Forever 21. Now, I went on Forever 21 to get me a coat, girl, and I ended up getting a little bit more than that. So, I saw on Forever 21's website that they had these duster coats on sale. I believe they're originally like $80, but they had them on sale for $50. So, was it well, was it $50 and they had them on sale for $20? I don't remember. I just know it was a good deal, so I got two of them. I got a black one, which I wore this last night, and surprisingly, it kept me warm. Like... To me, this could be constructed way better because y'all know I got a trench and my trench is from New York and Co. And that one is just top tier. Like the construction on that trench coat is immaculate. When I compare it to this, this isn't really constructed all that well, but I think as a temporary item, like it's going to serve its purpose. It kept me warm. It's extremely long and it just did what it was supposed to do. Y'all know I like to try my tie my trench coats in the back my biggest gripe with this trench is that the button the buckle around the sleeves doesn't stay closed so you constantly have to close the buckle around the sleeves and that just is because the fabric that the buckle and belt is made with is just cheap like they didn't invest in a proper buckle or a proper belt to go around the sleeves so it's going to continuously come out as it just did which is very annoying that's my only gripe with this trench coat but other than that it gets the job done if you're looking for something cheap quick easy that's gonna get you through this season until the next season until you can really invest in something that's high quality i would definitely recommend these trench coats from forever 21 and so like i said i got the same one in brown i will say i haven't worn the brown one but the brown one does appear to be constructed a little bit better than the black one i got them both in a size small so yeah i don't know something about this brown one just seems more just better i don't know the construction seems better but like i said these are just two temporary little items to last me and so I'm really ready to go in and invest on a high quality trench coat. So I do like them though. And they do have weight to them and they do keep you warm. So I would recommend them. And then the last few items that I got just to throw in my cart from Forever 21 
is this cute little knitted black sweater two piece it's the turtleneck top and it's kind of cropped which is really cute and it's pretty thick it seems like it's going to be warm and then it also came with the sweater skirt now i really got this set because i wanted the skirt but it came with the top as well so you know two for one special i'm not mad at it i got this in a small and i can't wait to wear this it's knitted it's stretchy and it's perfect for the winter time so you will definitely be seeing me this seeing me in this soon i don't know if i'm gonna wear it together because that's not what i was envisioning in my mind like i just wanted the skirt but i might wear it together or i might wear it separately who knows we'll see and then the last item that I got is this white turtleneck bodysuit from Forever 21. Super cute. Seems like it's going to be pretty warm. It's in this ribbed material, which I love. I do wish that the turtleneck was a bit more, I don't know, thicker, I would say. I wish the turtleneck area was a bit thicker. But can't wait to wear this as well. Super cute. And now on to accessories and like little miscellaneous things. The next thing that I want to show you guys that I got is this silver bag from Amazon. Now, I have this one in gold, but I went ahead and got it in silver as well for my birthday. And I absolutely love it. Like, these little dumpling bags are just so cute. They get the job done. Literally no complaints when it comes to these bags. So, these are definitely linked in my Amazon storefront. I highly recommend you getting one. And yeah, I think that's pretty much everything that I've gotten recently. I don't think I'm missing out on anything. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you saw something that you like, make sure you check the description box because everything will be linked down below. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.